Welcome to the next episode of DP5R TV Sign On Sin Sign Offs. Okay guys, last week I filmed the Kalaka episode, which is in Calabazon. Kalamba, we are back in uh, Kalamba Laguna. Laguna, yes. Uh, uh, but the place is actually usually called off, but yeah, Kal- Kalamba is a city in Laguna and we just filmed in in all of the Calabasum, so yeah, uh, I don't think I, I I don't think we will be supposed to do it, but but I don't I don't, I don't know what we're using. So yeah, yeah yeah that was my code, and then just the intro song. Shall we? <laughs> Everybody, I'm your host, the uh, voice of our DP Power TV, which you already know my name of. So, this day, today is gonna be Calabar for today. Uh, um, if, if anyone would care, like a Calabar Zone family, it, it goes something like this. Uh, 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 and then hindi, hindi ako baka paniwala. Aba, laking pera, ito na sa'yo. Ah, sige, salamat. And that's, and, and that's kind of like a, a kind for them, for the fam, for the Calabas of family. So, let's move on to write the station notice now, shall we? Okay, channel 51, let me see it, let me see it, let me see it in the main side on sign off. Station notice. Let me just see it over there. Let me just see it. Let me know. Okay, there's the main main uh, sign on sign off station notice. But there we go. Uh, where is it? Where is it? Kalamba. Yes, channel fifty one. Okay, here we go. Here we go now. Here we go. Here we go. Cha. Before we do anything though, let's before we do before anything though, let's write the station notice now, shall we? Kalamba. I'm going to go in the computer right now. Uh, but yeah, I, I don't know why. But here comes the date. The date was on February uh, thir- uh, 21, 30, 21, 21. Two thousand. No, 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 not two thousand. Not, 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 no. Oh, 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 what's wrong with the door? Okay, not two thousand, but two two thousand sixteen. Okay, l- l- let's be quick right now. And I don't think that's that's supposed to be like yeah. Five p.m. to eleven thirty p.m. This may this make my day so much. Here we go. Oops. 51 Kalamba, okay. Oops. Four hundred fifty, I guess. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Zero zero eight four dash twenty thirty. Oh, no, 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 not twenty thirteen, but twenty fourteen. Okay. Oh, valid. Oh, valid until and until now. I I I need to get something first. Okay. Okay, but then I also have this one over there. Okay, so we have some. Thousand twenty three three two thousand twenty three. 
Okay, channel 51. Just located at. No one is located, but uh, 30, 35. 35. 38 Antimon. 35 Antimony Street. Kalamba, Kalamba, Kalamba City, Laguna. Uh, uh, I don't know if Kalamba is located, but uh, uh, yeah, yeah, it's located in Kalamba. Mm -hmm. uh, Kalamba is located. Okay, guys, that's Kalamba in in Laguna. Yes, yes, it is in Laguna. So, so, so let me let me just. Con con continue like that one okay <coughs> okay chapter 51 so <laughs> that we're gonna add uh, ah okay 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 i know what it is i know what it is <coughs> mm, okay by the professional oops oh my gosh oh gosh regulation commission and the national tele communications commission okay three electronics engineers which you already know including Jason I Ignacio okay Okay, engineer Romolo C. Tata Rogen. What? ECE number is 3398. So, in the first class radio operators, including Jose P. Buban, let's just add three. So, six. Okay. Okay, deal? Okay, very good. Four, four, nine, four, three. Engineer Ryan four four two one four. Okay, <sighs> okay, first class, first class. Okay, okay, okay. Michael D. De La Cruz and the dash of contingency order of two one one zero eight two one one zero eight. Orlando M. Lagar. No, no, no. F three electronics engineers and four first class for the operator. Okay, 93 1 PNCR. Up. 1 PNCR 6016. Rene. Oh, no, no. Not Rene. Not Rene. Oh, Gravante. Uh, mm, Jose P. Buban. No, no. Not 93, but 94. <laughs> Eight, no, 8960 8960 8960 and mm, I, I, I don't know what the name should be called but I'll name it I name it Seb, Sir Sebastian is in Calabarzon in Calamba uh, Sebast Sebastian D Rodriguez 99 dash one P I V up uh, one P I V A dash seven four two two zero four okay channel fifty one Kalamba is now signing oh no okay guys we we're just gonna put off on it oh where is it where is it where is it where is it let me just keep up okay here we go here we go here we go before I read the station notice let's go back oh that's my alarm I need to I I need I need to turn off. I need to turn off the alarm, okay? Before we read the station notice, uh, let's go back to the Wikipedia Joker to teach about the city of Kalamba, shall we? <laughs> Okay, guys, let, let's let's talk about the city of Kalamba, shall we? 
Kalamba, official of the city of Kalamba, Filipino translated as Lungsod ng Kalamba, is a first-class component city in the province of Laguna, Philippines. According to the 2020 census, it has a population of 539,671 people. Kalamba is the regional center of the Calabarzon region. It is situated 50 kilometers or 31 miles south of Manila and 37 kilometers or 23 miles west of Santa Cruz. City is known as the Spring Resort capital of the Philippines because of its numerous hot spring resorts, which is mostly located in barangays Pansol, Bukal, Bagong Calzada, and Linga. According to the 2020 census, Kalamba has a population of 539,671 people, making it the most populous local government unit or LGU in Laguna. It is the fifth densest city in the province with more than 2,600 people per square kilometer after San Pedro, Binian, Caboyo, and Santa Rosa. But based on the overall rankings of the 2014 Cities and Municipalities Index, the city ranked 18th 18th in the overall competitiveness or cities ranking and first among cities in the Calabarzon region. Calamba is known to be Calabarzon's richest city because of its numerous industries. Calamba is the hometown of the de facto Philippine national hero Jose Rizal. Let's talk, let's talk about the etymology of Calamba, shall we? <laughs> Okay guys, let's talk about the etymology of Kalamba, shall we? First of all, the name of the city is derived from Tagalog Kalamba, meaning a wide ma ma mouth earthen water jar, also called Balanga or Banga, or, or also called Balanga, which is not big business with the city of Balang Balanga in, Buto in Bataan. The origin of the name is reflected in the Kalamba jar landmark in City Plaza, as well as the city's seal, which depicts a water jar source. So, per Wimpos with a profile of Jose Rizal. Let's talk about the history of uh, Calamba, shall we? Okay, guys, let's talk about the history of Calamba, shall we? One, the early history. The oldest part of Calamba is believed to be Barangay Sukol, which where its first settlers remain. With the arrival of Spaniards, the whole area was converted into a hacienda that a part of Tabuco, of Presidente Cabuyo. In 1639, Calamba was the site of a rebellion of Chinese farmers who had been forcibly resettled there by Governor Sebastian Horta de Colquera. This rebellion spread north of the Pasig River and eventually culminated in the deaths of over 20,000 Chinese in the whole region surrounding Manila. Calamba became an independent Independent Pueblo on August 28, 1742, informed into the town of Calamba in 1770. In 1813, Calamba was placed in the hand of encargados by the Dominican brothers no, who divided it into portions and sold the haciendas to the natives during the American regime to the World War II. That during the Japanese occupation in World War II, Kalamba was the location of a mas massacre commit committed by the Imperial Japanese Army in which at least 2,000 civilians were killed. The St. John the Baptist Church, established in 1859, was burned by the Japanese during World War II. It was reconstructed by, by, by Father Eselio de, de, de Maculangan. It was the Christianic site of Jose Rizal. The original Baptist small fort has, has been preserved and refurbished. 3. The City Hall after a process of more than seven years, Calamba became the second component city of the Laguna by virtue of a public act number 9024, an act converting the municipality of Laguna, province of Laguna, into a component city to be known as the city of Calamba. Republic Act number 9024 was signed into law by President Goryeo Macapagalaruyo on, on, on March 5, 2001 at the Malacanang Palace. Uh, the, com the Commission of Elections or Comelec then set a plebiscite for Calamba City Hood on April 21, 2001, where 15,056 residents participated. 3,413 or 22.67% voted no, while the remaining 77.33% voted yes to Calamba's conversion into a component city for the events leading to cityhood. As early as 1994, the, the town Sangguni Ang Bayan approved Resolution Number 60, Series of 1994, requesting the Senate of the Philippines to its President and the House of Representatives to speak to a, to a, to a sponsor for a bill of work and Lampas conversion to a city. It was only up to two years that another resolution, Resolution Number 115, was passed requesting the Congressman Joaquin M. M. G. Peco Jr. to a, to, to cons to sponsor a bill for Calamba's um, city requesting the Sangguniang Panlalawigan for their co comments, 
comments and recommendations regarding the matter. Uh, uh, another two years passed before House Bill Number no. Nine Eight Six and Senate Bill uh, 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 Number uh, uh, Sixteen Thirty and Seventeen Ninety One were filled in the House of Representatives by Congressman Chepeco and the Senate of the Philippines by Senators Franklin M. Drillon and Sergio Osmeña the Third, respectively. It was only in the year two thousand that the motion for Calamba's city hall was fast tracked. Then, Mayor Severino J. Lahara requested favorable endorsement of House Bill No. 986 from the Sangguniang Palalawigan on January 3, 2000. On the year 2000, January 3. The Sangguniang Bayan also endorsed House Bill No. 986 and Senate Bill so Senate, Senate Bill No. 1630 and 1791 also request and, and also requested favorable endorsement for the Sangguniang Palalawigan the same month. A month passed, and Mayor Lahara sent a follow-up letter to the Vice Governor Te Te Teresita Ning or, or Teresita Lazaro, or or also known as Ning Ning Lazaro, on updates regard regarding the matter. On March 8, the House Committee on Local Government approved House Bill Number no. 986 on second reading at the at the hearing held at Hotel Rembrandt, Quezon City. The same House Committee conducted a public hearing on House Bill Number no. 96 at the Kalamay Elementary School or Central Sec or Central Two Gymnasium on March 23. Approving the House Bill in principle, House Bill 986 was deliberated in April by the House of Representatives in plenary session and approved as the as House Bill Number 1061, which was then filled with the Senate of the Philippines in June. The year 2001 came and brought about approval on second reading of Senate Bill No 1630 and 1791 and House Bill Number 1661 in in a hearing held on February 5 at the Ambrosio Padilla Hall, Senate of the Philippines. Three Three days later, February 8, Senate Bill No. 1613, 1791, and House Bill No. 1661 was then ready in plenary session and was approved as Republic Act No. 9024. Then, 5. Okay, number five. Designation is regional center. Calamba was declared as the regional center of the Calamba zone the region by then President Gloria Arroyo by, by virtue of Executive Order Number 246, dated October 28, 2003. Let's talk about the geography of Calamba, shall we? Okay, guys, let's read the. Okay, guys. Let's talk about the geography of Kalamba, shall we? First of all, Kalamba lies on the northern slopes of... <coughs> I need to drink some water first. Okay, guys. Here we go. First of all, Kalamba lies on the northern slopes of Mount Makiling, a dormant volcano. The southern terminus of the southern zone expressway, or SLEX, is in Kalamba. It is geography position makes a city a gateway to the southern provinces of Luzon. The highway at the end of the southern zone expressway or slags leads east to the other towns of Laguna and south towards the province of Batangas, provinces of Batangas, Quezon. The city is bordered by Cabuya to the north and the, and the to the west, Los Banos to the east, by the province of Batangas and Cavite to the south, especially the cities of Tanavan, Santo Tomas, and the municipality of Talisa in Batangas. It's not because so the city of Talisa in Nexus within Tal and Cebu. At the city of Tagaytay at Cavite, Laguna de Bay, the country's largest lake, forms the city's northeast border. The official capital Santa Cruz is located 37 kilometers or 20 miles by road to the east. Calamba covers a total land area of 14,950 hectares or 36,900 acres, making, making it is the second largest city in Laguna province in terms of land area after San Pablo. Now the, let's talk about the land uses. Now, now that's the land uses. Let's move on to barangays, shall we? First, in any case, Calamba is politically subdivided into 54 barangays. In bar each barangay consists of four and seven cities. The 54 barangays of Calamba City are Bangong Calzada, Banyadero, Balik, Baradal, Barangay 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, also known as Poblacion, Batino, Bubuyan, Bukal, Bungo, Burol, Kamaligam, Kalubang, Halang, or Hornalan, Kayanlong, Namesa, La Guerta, Lawa, Lecheria, Linga, L eh, Linga, or which I pronounce it which I pronounce it in well, Luok, Mabato, Mahalad, Mahadalabas, Makiling, Mapago, Masili, Maonong, Mayapa, Melagrosa, Pasyano, Rizal, Palingon, Palo Alto, Pansol, Pariam, Prinsa, Punta, Puntiglupa, Real, Sa, 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 Sa Imsim, San Piruan, San Cristobal, San Jose, San Jose, San Juan, Sirang Lupa, Sokol, Turbina, Ulango, and Uwisan. So, talk about the climate of of Kalamba, shall we? First of all, Kalamba has a tropical monsoon climate type AM with a short dry season 
and a longer rainy season. The, the dry season lasts only from January to April, and the rest of the year is characterized by high levels of rainfall. Let's, talk, let's go back to the keep notes, shall we? Okay, guys, before I read the station notice, I'm going to drink some water first. <gasps> okay, there we go. <sighs> this is Channel 51, Columba, a commercial VHF TV station owned and operated by DP5R TV Corporation, transmitting on a 450 kilowatt transmitting power with permit number BSD-0084-2014, valid until December 31, 2023. Channel 51 transmitter is located at 35 Antimony Street, Calamba City, Laguna. Channel 51 is operated by the following personnel, duly licensed by the Professional Regulation Commission and the National Telecommunications Commission. Electronics Engineers, Angelo Romulo C. Tataro Jr., EC number 0033398. Engineer Jose Paulo L. Garibay, EC number 0054943. Engineer Ryan B. Vigil, EC number 0044214. First Class Radio Operators Michael D. De La Cruz 98-1 PNCR-21108 Orlando M. Lagarta 93-1 PNCR-6016 Jose P. Buban 94-1 PV-8-60 and Sebastian D. Rodriguez 99-1 PIV-8-74204 Channel 51 Calamba is now signing on Okay guys, before we close that, let's, 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 let's go back to the Wikipedia Geography to teach more about Calamba's Geography the demographics. Let's move on to the demographics now, shall we? Okay, guys, let's talk about the demographics of Kalamba, shall we? First of all, the population of Kalamba is fast growing with an intercensal growth rate of 5% from 1995 to 2000, repeated in more in, in subsequent decades, except for the 2007 to 2010 census. Okay. According to the 2020 census, Kalamba has a population of 539,671 inhabitants, making it the most populated city in Laguna Province, followed by Laguna, Santa Rosa, Binyan, San Pedro City, Caboyan, San Pablo. Kalamba is the 24th most populated city in the Philippines. Kalamba is predominantly Roman Catholic or 84.22%, followed by members, Church of God, International, MCGI or ADD, 4.5% Protestant.